this is Puck. You're looking at my old PowerBook 17 inch and it's open because uh, I'm gonna remove the hard drive out of it. The DVD-ROM drive is broken so I cannot install Mac OS X the normal way on this machine. To fix this machine I will have to remove the hard drive and put it into a yeah a bay that I can connect to another power book by USB. This could also be done on some uh, on some old MacBook white. You could uh, boot from uh, 10.4 11 with these things as well. And uh, yeah, then I will have to upgrade to 10.5.8 because that is the procedure. So, in fact, what we're going to do, we're going to remove this hard drive out of this machine, put it into a USB bay, connect that to another power book that I have up here, one that is running just fine. And then, you know, I can go ahead and boot from 10.4.11, get into this uh, disk, what is it, tool, this disk tool or disk utility. And from there, I'm just going to create a clone of the 12 inch. Now I'm not sure if that clone will also work on the 17 inch. So that is in fact what I'm going to try to find out because of course the drive of the 60 gigabytes of this uh, uh, PowerBook 12 inch probably has different parts in it. So will it be just like with Linux? that Mac OS X will find the right parts in the machine and then just fix that while booting up and then, you know, uh, boot up with the previous configuration or will it go wrong? So that's what we will have to find out. This is what we need. Here you can see we just connected the hard drive in a USB bay. This is an IDE drive, so keep that in mind. You need an IDE uh, USB kind of case to you know for two and a half two and a half inch uh, drives to do this what I'm showing you right now okay so here I'm uh, being asked if I want to use this drive as a backup for this machine well I don't really want to do that what I'm gonna do is we're gonna boot up the machine with 10.411 because we need this utility to make a backup of uh, yeah of in fact the 12 inch machine that you see here we're just gonna make a backup of that whatever is on there and uh, yeah put it on the drive and see if the 17 inch will boot up from that so let's get started okay, you can see the discs I have one is the 10.5 but it's only upgrade so I will have to install 10.4 first before I can continue with this one. So let's go ahead and put the 10.411 into the PowerBook 12 inch. We hit enter, we press the C key, or probably I turned it off. We must wait, this takes a second. Here we go, we hold the C key on our keyboard, that will let us boot from the DVD that we just inserted, that is 10.411. Why do we need the DVD? We need the DVD so we can work from off the DVD and not from the hard drive, because when we just boot up 10.411, and we will um, and we want to make a backup of the drive itself then it will not be possible because the files are in use okay that while when we boot up from the uh, DVD we will and be able to install Mac to another drive that is in this case the USB drive that we have here and we will be able if we want to create a backup from the drive that is already in this machine. So we're going to wait for this to boot up. 
and then I'm going to get back to you. As you can see, this goes really fast and we are already in the language part where we can select the language. So there you go. We are in the language part. So now we just hit next. And we will go on top here. In my language it's saying Hulp Programmers. But we're gonna choose this utility. It's called Schrijf Hulp Programmers in Dutch. So up here we should also see the 250 gigabyte drive. It should pop it up. It should pop up in here. After playing a while and waiting a while, we can see that here we see all the drives. You see that? We also see the 250 gigabyte drive. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit erase. And we're gonna choose a Mac OS X journal partition. We can call it Mac. Okay. So we're gonna hit wipe. So it's gonna wipe the complete drive. Remember, we want to create a backup. And now it's wiping the drive as you can see here. So it just wiped the drive, created a nice Mac partition, and now we're gonna hit restore. That means in Dutch has talent. Up here, we're just gonna get this little Mac here and put it as the source. And the drive, we will put it here. As the destiny. Okay, so we just hit restore and we hit OK. So what will happen now, in fact I'm creating a one on one copy of the 60 gigabyte drive to the 250 gigabyte hard drive. This might take a while. Okay, but when this is done, you don't need to install Mac OS X and you don't need to first install 10.4.11 and then one more time go upgrade to 10.5.8. Now I will have the right uh, Mac OS X version, including all the updates in one time after this has been done. But this might take some hours. <laughs> so, uh, yeah but you will have your mac just as good as the one that it's running that is running right now so yeah i will have to see if this will go good and if this drive will be able to boot uh, just fine from the powerbook 17 inch and that is what this test is about i might fail but if i fail i will post this video okay still. welcome back everything has been copied and the drive is an exact copy of the one in this machine but will this drive boot up from the macbook 17 inch also a power book that is also running the same software same version you know i mean like it's capable to run it it's able to run it but will it run this cloned hard drive because as you know we first had to install 10.4.11 and then update it to 10.5.8 and then do all sorts of updates so you know I in fact thought well I want to skip all that all that all that doing and just create a drive that in one time will be done and updated and be just the same and just as good as the one in this machine we put in the hard drive we tie them up with the torx screwdriver we put back the keyboard and the top don't forget about the flat cable it's kind of tricky to put it inside 
So let's take a look how to do that. This is uh, the cable of the keyboard and the power on and I think of many little things. So, you know, putting back the top cover is kind of uh, tricky because you got to get this cable straight to this little hole there. And then you can just stick it in like that and then put them little pins, press them. Now this is set. We already have some RAM in here, I can put one more and then we can also fix the battery, this is the RAM holder, this thing here, goes like this, see that, put the screw in there, so I'm gonna do these things real fast and then I'm gonna get back to you. Hey, but wait a minute. Before closing the thing up, wouldn't it be wise to see if the thing like will kind of boot? So let me remove the power and stick the power in here. And let's take a quick look if this thing is gonna boot. And what's gonna happen? Whoa, <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> that sound, man. <sighs> screen always stays black for a while it takes it takes a little for the screen to pop up oh damn yay it's working <laughs> it said no hard drive found in the beginning so that now we got to see the little yeah it's spinning what I think we will have an exact clone of the 12 inch. I'm really wondering if this thing is gonna work like 100%. Where is my. Oh. There it is. Come here. Because this is celebration time, you know? When things like this happen, it's celebration time. Look at that. We restored. Ah, the mouse is working good, so we fit the cable good. Wow, look at that. We have the same machine. Skype is gonna start up. Take your eyes and look. It even knows the password, I think, of the Wi-Fi. <laughs> the clock was set to 2001. <laughs> oh, I was put by Wi-Fi. I was put by Wi-Fi, so let me do that. So now you see we are connected to Wi-Fi my friends we are connected to Wi-Fi and uh, now it's gonna uh, probably fix uh, the date etc the date is on 1 January 1970 I think that is when Apple started with creating computers 1970 think of it man 1970 wow think of it my friend So I think the time has just been fixed, here you can see, and we can close that or open it again. Oh, I, I, I hope I know the password. I remember, yes, of course. But as you can see, it worked, people. It works, it works, it works, yay. So what we in fact did, we cloned a drive of another power book, in this case, the 12 inch, and we just used it in the 17 inch both machines are mine so you know in fact uh, it's all good I didn't need to do anything about information that I had to delete or whatsoever I just have two machines of the same that while they are both different <laughs> it's really kind of funny I'm looking at you know a small one of this one and a big one there you can see them in the back I think you see them they are both exactly the same and uh, yeah, I can confirm it works just fine, uh, no no issues until now, so internet is working, sound is working, so that is how to do it. I think, uh, yeah, mission uh, successfully uh, 
whatever. So if you uh, also think so, please give this video a like. Don't leave without leaving your like. If you did not subscribe already, please subscribe to my channel.